Welcome, friends! It's your brother Gant from Infinite Red. We've got something cool, something exciting. We've got something huge to announce today. After months of planning, commits, and progress, we're releasing Ignite for React Native. Now, what is Ignite? It's our generator for React Native. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, you can start to build apps today with Ignite. Let's jump in. First, let's npm install Ignite globally. Now, this could take a little while, so feel free to get some coffee. Coffee! Okay, looks like our install was a success. All right, we can verify this by typing the Ignite command and we can get straight to building our first project with Ignite new and then the app name. This will kick off our friendly spinner, which walks you through the install process. Now you can watch the spinner or... Yeah. After the app is generated, you can run it like any other React Native application. The default Ignite app works perfectly with iOS and Android. Plus, it starts you off with a bunch of what I like to call the kitchen sink of best practices. Goodies, examples, structure, everything an app really needs to get started. Basically, animations, Redux, API, and more. In addition to these, we also start you off with some development screens that we like to use in-house. Ignite generated weeks of work in mere seconds. Friendly folder structure, common library, and helpful development screens. Let's do a quick overview. Our first development screen is for component examples. If you're familiar with a style guide, it's pretty much that. The screen allows a Git-friendly way for components to register their examples as you or your team builds the app. The next screen is in the same vein, but geared towards usage examples. Things like applied animations or sagas or proof of concepts for third-party libraries. This is a demo and playground area for your general needs. Now, API testing. You can call your API functions from the API screen and analyze the JSON results inside the app. This is great if your API is still evolving on the server or if you're testing in the field. This next screen is my favorite. The Ignite style is based on a theme folder that you construct. And as you modify your theme, the palette and common styles are reflected here inside the theme screen. Lastly, device info. As you alpha test and find small differences in real world devices, you can catch pesky differences that cause issues, especially in Android. That's what you get out of the box, but this doesn't even scratch the surface on what you get with Ignite. I didn't even get a chance to cover Reactatron, which is wired all the way down to the API, or our roadmap and where we plan on going in the future, or even their command line screen and component generators. If you really want to see more, you really have to try it yourself. We'll keep blogging about Ignite at shift.infinite.red and you can expect more videos demonstrating Ignite. If you're excited about React Native, be sure to try Ignite today and see what it can do.